individual of taste. You love a nice, juicy, delicious tune to bang on your eardrums. And why wouldn't you? Though every note and nuance hits your musical palette and is interpreted with the precision of a Michelin star sommelier, it's hard to hear the lyrics. It's not your fault. You're busy savoring that bass part. You're loving that guitar lick, drinking in that dope-ass complex meter. Thanks to DistroKid, your song's lyrics can be uploaded through their service. Make sure your fans can not just appreciate your lyrical prowess with their ears, but also with their eyes. It's so easy to sync up lyrics to your tracks. They say it's like playing a game, but your lyrics aren't a game to you or your fans. They're a tasty musical expression. Thanks to DistroKid, your groupies will always know what you're singing about. And if you follow the link in the description, you can save 7%. It doesn't get any better than this. DistroKid, we have the lyrics. All right, we're going to play A minor, G major, D minor, it's a root on the fifth fret A string, back to A minor. Now, uh, Frushanti would use his thumb, Hendrix style. Uh, I'm more comfortable, and the majority of you guys out there are probably more comfortable with the full bar chord. It's gonna sound the same. So I'm gonna teach it bar chord style. So A minor. Down, down, down. So A minor, G, D minor, A minor, A minor again, G major, D minor, A minor. So there's a little, I think it's a more of a filter, but I'm use I you know use a wah pedal, and it's just based on the that A minor, and you're doing this uh, hammer on pull off. You know it's the minor A minor pentatonic right there, hammer on pull off on the seven of the G, and then hit that root note right there, which is seven of the D. So like, it's a second, uh, it's an overdubbed recording, but um, you could mix and match a bit. And then with the G chord, you're just hammering on that G, but the middle finger's there. But I, uh, you know, just to make it a little easier, you could think of it more as a single note thing as a second guitar part. So, wah pedal on. So I'm just hitting middle finger on that G note, which is the fifth fret D and then hammer on pulling off between the four and five. So. And then he slides into the D root of that D minor chord. And then it's kind of matching the vocals there. It's, it blends in with some of the other instruments, but you know, just riffing on the, on the chord. Uh, before the chorus, you know, it rings out on D minor, so. Way to survive, distortion on. So that chorus, think of power chords, not think of them, play them. Um, it's going to be an F. So an F power chord, that first fret of the E string right there. And then a quick C, and that C is on the upbeat. So if you've got down, 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 the ups of that down are the offbeats. So, 
like that. So down, 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 up, and, with, and you slide up to a D power chord, and the D power chord in the chorus is the one that has um, more of a 16th note strumming pattern. Like. Then back to a G, or not back, but then a G power chord on the way down. So uh, the offbeats of the, of the rhythm of the chorus are the C, on the way up and the G on the way back. But the F power chord and the D power chord are on the, the down beats. You know, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. Now we've got some up rhythms here on the up down up now with the distortion still on once again there uh this is based more on like how you would play it live because the recording has uh some really cool guitar overdubs, but here's what I would do for the this, I guess you could call it the first solo. So look at the B string. So I'm going 13, 12 and then 15 to 17. And then you repeat that, 13, 12, 15, but then 17 on the high E. And then what we're gonna do is bend the string above it to that pitch. So if I'm on 13 of the B string, then my ring, uh, ring finger is on 15 of the G, and you bend that G string up to match that. And then you just do the same thing a half step down. And then you just track that B string. And then again. Now that last one's a, a little bit trickier because you're right running out of running out of frets. So that 17 on the high E and 20 on the B bent up. All right, so you got that. Now we've got, uh, let's see, everything, everything repeats, all the parts, you know, um, and then you've got that chorus again, which that's going to be played the same way, but you have a bridge. Turn that watt pedal off. B minor, bar chord, ba, ba, da, G major. So uh, I'm playing a G major bar chord right here. Uh, root is on the 10th fret A string. Then it's, uh, it's a D hen major Hendrix chord is what I call it. So you're uh, covering the seventh fret and then playing the ninth fret on the A string with it. And then where that ring finger is, you're gonna switch to that major bar chord, which is F sharp. So, on an upbeat. So you have B minor, G, D, F sharp. Sharp, 
And then the last one, it just holds B minor with a break. Verse again. And uh, yeah, goes through all that again. It when it hits when it goes to the I don't know the lyric. Another way to survive, you know. The end, but there's a new chord, and it were and they did this chord. It's a seven flat nine is what you call it, and they did this in under the bridge. So it worked before that they're, they're gonna do it again, or uh, Frusciante. I feel like this is you know in Frusciante's uh, vocabulary of of uh, chord progressions, but the um, E seven flat nine. It uh, is basically, it's the middle finger on the root. You kind of think of it as the seven shape. Like that. So that would be seven, uh, six, and seven. But then you just flatten your index across the six so you can get that. That's the flat nine right there. That's the uh, sixth fret of the B string. moody, dramatic chord. So, you know, it's... Um, you know? Distortion! Repeats, 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 um, and then you get to the final solo section. Sounds a lot like Purple Haze right there. Uh, think of the D minor pentatonic scale. And then also great would be to know the uh, extension because that's really what he's using. And then all that stuff right in that power zone. Uh, I, I don't know. I just came up with that word right now. The power zone, like the you know the main row and the extension. He goes down into the A rooted extension there for the that lower part. But basically, you've got so it's twelfth uh, fret of the A. Yeah, you know, he's got some great fuzz. I mean, it just sounds so badass. Bad to the bone. One of the greatest guitarists ever. Any any generation, any time. Um, so good. So twelfth uh, fret A string, tenth fret D, and then tenth fret G, and then he goes to the root there, which makes it different than the purple haze. So that's twelfth fret D. Um, in that extension, you got you get your ring finger down to the tenth fret of the A string. So, and so you're pulling uh, between the a ten and the eight of the A string. He's going, I'm not, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but um, then you've got that piece of the pentatonic between the three and the one on the E string. And then you got a transition up to the D note on the fifth fret of the A string there. So instead of now, uh, yeah. We're hitting the 12 on the A string and the 10 on the D string. And 
then eventually back to that root again. And in that extension, you have uh, the 14th of the G, and then 13 of the B, 15 of the B. And some of those notes are a bit ghosted. But you definitely think of it as um, 13 to 15 on the B. You have this little thing. Uh, so it's once again just in that D minor pentatonic. You're hitting 15, 13, 14. Then you have one last, uh, I'm kicking the wand for this. However you pick, you know, if you plant your pinky, uh, my wrist kind of bends in like that, which I don't see a lot of people do. It's just all, however you can go really quick on that G and B string. You know. And then you're gonna plant your index finger on the 10 of the B right there. Uh, my index finger is muting that high E, by the way, so I'm just... Right now, it's actually the tip of it's muting the G, too, so if I'm just strumming those top three strings... You're only hearing that B string, but with that strumming in mind, so your right hand's doing that, oh yeah, and Van Halen was uh, more of a diagonal kind of thing when he did it, uh, which looks so damn cool. Uh, okay, so... Uh, plant it on the 10th fret, and what you're going to do as you strum that is you're going to bend. And when that releases, that tip of the index finger mutes that G string off. But then you got to do really quick... And so you're just doing a pull off, that index stays planted, but you're pulling off the 13 of the B string there. Doing the wah pedal. And then you've got the um, 15 of that high E there, which is just right at the, you know, part of that D minor extension. And he goes down the extension. I'm not going to, I didn't work that lick out exactly, but he's hitting that. Oh, and then you 13, you've got the classic box. end it that's it man have fun all right hope you guys enjoyed the lesson thank you again for the continued support uh feel free to request stuff you'd like to see in the comments below and while you're down there don't forget to like and subscribe right here to marty music thanks again hope to see you later